Celebrities and sportsmen and women have descended on Sheffield to help raise money for the Children's Hospital charity through a golf day. The event raised over £30,000 for the Sheffield-based charity last year, with 50000 being the target this time around. Dan Walker helped to set the event up and is a patron of the charity. He hopes the day will raise a huge sum for the hospital. We've managed to drag in various famous faces to try and help us do that as well. And uh, yeah, that, the whole aim of the day is people enjoy themselves, enjoy Hampshire Golf Club. And the, amount, the number of famous people that we've managed to drag here this year has been incredible. We've got two guys who are playing in the Ryder Cup in three weeks' time, Matt Fitzpatrick and Danny Willett. And behind us here, we've got two girls who three weeks ago won hockey gold in Rio. So... Uh, yeah, amazing that people have come. It's a testament to the charity as well that all these people are coming to support it. Exactly, and you know, people, when you get in contact with them first play, first time round, it's like, yeah, that's I can I can fit the date in. And then when you tell people what the charity is all about and what it raises money for, you know, even if you haven't got kids, you're, you're touched by that, and you just go on the website and you can see what a difference that money makes. And we're aiming this year to try and raise 50 grand for charities. We did about 35, 36 in the first year, about 43 last year, and 50. Grand is the target this time round. So if we get anywhere near that, and that's that's money that goes towards scanners and operating equipment, which which genuinely saves lives. And these things cost you know two and a half million quid, and we're a small pebble in a in a big ocean, but every little pound makes a difference. And it's it's a, my pleasure to be involved in it every year. And it's great to have an event like that up in Yorkshire as well. Yeah, it's, uh, I've been offered to take it all over the place, but Yorkshire is the place. Yorkshire is the place to be. I live five minutes down the road. Even even big Alan Shearer's turned up. Every year he turns up, um, drives all the way from the northeast to, to God's country here in Yorkshire. Um, but it's, it's great. People are really supportive and, and they love it. And hopefully we have another great day. Alan Shearer, Mark Lawrence and Michael Vaughan and AP McCoy will all be battling it out to win the event, which Walker actually won last year. But the threat of Matt Fitzpatrick and Danny Willett could ruin the celebs' hopes. But two people that aren't expecting a win are GB Women's Hockey Gold Medalist of 2016, Sophie Bray and Laura Unsworth. They told me they still haven't quite got over their summer's Olympic success. Well, we're here to support Dan Walker's charity for the uh, Sheffield Children's Hospital and we're really excited to be taking part in the golf event today. I mean, obviously there's, well, I say obviously, are there any similarities between hockey and golf? I think other than that, there's like a stick or a club and a ball, I think that's where the similarities, is and then that is it. There's no more. Addressing the elephant in the room, gold medals around your neck, just how was your summer? Yeah, it was absolutely incredible. I think the best couple of weeks of our lives and it, it's just so surreal and, and coming home, we didn't realise the support that so many people were, were watching us on that Friday night. and. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been fantastic. Well, that's what I was going to ask you because, I mean, I know personally I was sat at home watching and it took social media by storm. So it's it's amazing that that many people sat up and watched the hockey. Yeah, you hear you hear stories of people in the pub watching the Man United game and then they, they're switching over to the hockey. And it's, it's unbelievable for our sport. And we've heard stories of loads of youngsters and, and other people coming back to the sport. So, yeah, if more people can play because of it, it would be... It's great to hear. Yeah, what sort of an impact do you think it's going to have on your sport in this country? Well, I think it'll have a massive impact. I know already that um, the past few weekends it's been like the registrations for the hockey season and they've been inundated with new new members and that's what we want for the sport. And obviously this medal, it's great for us, but actually it's more for everyone else it's done. So if we've inspired someone who hasn't picked up a stick for 40 years to go back and play hockey and... Just ex it's just great for the sport. Children's Hospital Charity have been the subject of the event during its three years since inception. Tonya Kennedy is from the charity. She says the money being raised will have a huge impact on Sheffield's hospital. Hospital, and we're here to raise money um, to buy a new piece of kit called a multi-purpose fluoroscopy system, which is going to be a life-saving piece of equipment for the hospital and help benefit young patients for years to come. Um, so it's a key piece of equipment that we do need at hospital and this is what today is all about and hopefully raise lots of money to make that happen. And it's great to see so many high-profile names coming down. There's ex-footballers, there's gold medalists, there's, there's everybody down today. It's amazing. Dan's, Dan's done a brilliant job with his celebrities. He's, he's, he's brilliant. He's such a good patron for us. Yeah, Alan Shearer, the hockey girls Sophie and Laura it's brilliant to have them here and they brought the gold medals which is amazing and yeah so many Mark Lawrence just brilliant see you mom 
With a multitude of prizes to be auctioned off in a silent auction after the end of Day's play, as well as a Porsche Boxster being given away for a hole-in-one on the ninth, it's hoped the Day's play will help to make a huge difference in the lives of many children in South Yorkshire. For TV Yorkshire, I'm Jack Deaton.